Hey everyone, welcome back to Catching Up with the Walkers. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining me here in my shop. Today's video is going to be a little different, um, mainly because we're gonna be doing a project and Cassie's not here. She's at school, she's working, and she's busy. So, with that being said, there are some things when I come along I think are so important that I wanna share with you guys, and today is one of those things, and that is putting a grill guard on my new pickup, new to me pickup. So this is a 2017 Ford F-250, and today I'm gonna to be putting a grill guard, um, not a full bumper replacement, just the guard. And why is that important? Because we live in a very rural area where we have lots of deer. The deer will come out, especially in um, rut or breeding season. They will dart out right in front of you. The bucks don't pay attention, the does are acting crazy, and they are, not completely overpopulated, but they're to a point that there are a lot of accidents. It's probably the same in your area. So one wreck, one accident on the front of your vehicle could cost you thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, one grill guard will cost you less than a thousand dollars and will last for years to come. So let's get to it. I'm gonna show you the grill guard I picked out and uh, show you where it's going. So this is not sponsored, this is a purchased product of mine that I purchased. It is a ranch hand grill guard replacement. I am a big fan of ranch hand. Uh, they make a heavier gauge product. You can see I also have the ranch hand steps on my truck as well that's gonna be matching. So let's go ahead and get it out of the packaging and see what we got. So you can see that this was packaged very well. Um, it had the uh, brackets and the hardware right here. It also has some instructions in there it looks like. So we'll get those out and take a look. But it has some foam to keep everything from getting uh, dinged up, dented up, wrapped completely in paper and cardboard. So let's take a look at the instructions. So of course the best place for all the instructions is the tailgate. So we've got uh, 2017 and up Ford Super Duty. Grill guard, uh, looks like there's some extra steps for 2020 and up, but we don't have to worry about that because our truck is nice and used. So I'm gonna get these instructions read, got all my parts laid out, and let's get to it. So it's moments like this that reminds me why I don't do this very often. Uh, because I'm under the truck, it's kind of hard to record. But these brackets have to be removed. They're attached to the frame on both sides. So I wanna remove that, and then we'll be able to go to the next step. So here is the bracket that was underneath there on the frame that had to be removed. So the next step is to mark um, some holes on the air dam down here. So you have to find the center of the air dam, which is about right here. And then you go 19 and 11 sixteenths over. And oddly enough, let me show you guys if I can. Right here are my marks. So there's one right there, one right there. And there's a little cutout, kind of like it's been perforated right here, um, where it looks like the exact spot where it goes. So uh, I think I'm pretty close there. I think it needs to be a little bit wider than what this is, but that's pretty cool that it's there. And uh, I'll get out from under here and show you what that's for. The holes need to be cut for this right here, and it's just two inches by one inch is the hole will cut. So there's lots of different things that you can cut it with. I'm going to try the knife first, um, a utility knife, and see if that works uh, because less is usually more when it goes to cutting holes. So this is probably the part that I dreaded most just because you can only make one cut and then you're done. But I did the other side. It's actually not too bad. I put a brand new blade in my knife 
I might need to flip it over. But once you get through the plastic, it's pushed through, it's not too bad. So I'm gonna cut this side out. Um, you can also see that mine, my truck also has a little damage. Uh, the air valence or air dam is already messed up. So not too bad of a deal. If I mess something up too bad, I'd have to replace it anyway. I'd uh, be getting a new air valence. But I think I'm gonna make do. I'm gonna get this cut and uh, we'll head back up top. So it's a little hard to see under there, but you can see right there, I have one hole. Swing over to the other side. Got my other hole cut. Um, the uh, knife worked really well, nice and slow and easy, and uh, made some exact cuts. So now we're ready for the next step. Our next step is to remove two 18 metric um, bolts that are on the outside of this tow hook. So this is what the uh, grill guard is gonna attach directly to. So we're gonna get those up, taken off. Everything comes off pretty easy, so I'm not really used to that. I've never had a truck quite this new. Most of my trucks have been older, and most of the bolts are really stuck and hard to get off, but so far, this one hasn't been bad. So I know what some of you may be thinking, Gary, there's only one of you, and that grill guard is pretty heavy, and I'll tell you it is really heavy, actually, but how are you gonna get it up there? Well. Since I do YouTube and I'm at home when most of my friends are at work and most people are at work and my wife's at work, uh, I'm actually have a little helper today. That is bucket number one and bucket number two. So a five gallon bucket is actually really close to the exact height we need. And if you center it right here under this portion, then it um, holds all the weight and does what it needs to do. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not recommending that. I would say if you had another person to help you, that would be awesome. Um, but I'm doing what I'm doing today uh, to get by, and today it's gonna work. So right now, I'm uh, getting this up here. I'm gonna get it pushed in and mounted in, and I need a couple washers right here, just um, half-inch washers that are actually going to hold uh, that out just a little bit to let that mount up straight. So. I wanna work on that. If I need to shim this up a little bit, I will. Um, and I'm gonna get it mounted up. So I think I have everything set up now. I have my bolts in and they're pushed in. On the back side of that though, is this mounting bracket. And the top bolt I just pointed out goes right here. This bolts to the frame right here. And then this bolts to that bottom piece right there. So that is all of the pieces. Um, we're going to uh, get it mounted up, do both sides, and hopefully I'll show you the finished product very soon. So that took probably an hour longer than it should have. They made it pretty complicated, um, reusing the frame bolts and trying to go inside the box frame, put the bolts in on that bottom bracket. But it's finished and I am ready to take off all the uh, extra garb they have on here. So let's take off the protection. Let's see how it looks. And like I said, this is potentially going to save thousands and thousands of dollars because one deer, one large dog, one hog, one moose, I don't know what part of the country you're in, but one thing can ruin your front end. And if your front end gets hit, you're, you're replacing the hood, headlights, grill, radiator, um, bumper. It may even get into your tire, cause alignment issues. So there it is. The ranch hand grill guard is on. I, I believe this one is called the Legend. Um, they have different ones. The main reason I didn't go with a bumper replacement is because I already have a black bumper and this is just a XL uh, F250. And I thought that um, I didn't want to go overboard. I thought this would work great. So let me show you guys. It is solid. There is no give to that when you shake it. Um, it has a little ranch hand symbol. I'm a little bit of a nerd, so I like things to match. So that matches my uh, steps. So if I do go aftermarket, I like to have the same things. 
if I ever do a back bumper replacement on this truck, it'll be a ranch hand. So that's it. I'm uh, super happy with it. Uh, I'm going to pull it outside in the sun. I need to wash the truck anyway. I don't know if I will. But uh, we'll catch up with Cassie in a little bit and see what she thinks about it. Well, Cassie got home from school and she literally just gave me some bad news. What did you say? It's been there for a while. It's like a, uh, like for my, like farriers use. You see it? It goes all the way down there. Cassie said I have a nail in my tire. You want me to pull so it up? So is it in it or is it stuck in the groove? Well, you're missing some rubber. I don't know. You'd have to make it come back so I can see it, I think. Okay, you I'll get my... try to get it out? I'll get my... You can if you want. I'll get my needle nose pliers your knife. and get it out. No, this knife is not for digging metal out. It's of, not for Of anything. Leverage. No, you'll break the tip off. You guys see the knife that she wants to mess up? Look at this. No way. There's a screwdriver in the shop. Better yet, there's a broken off screwdriver in the shop. Well, there's something on there. All right, I'll come back and inspect it in a little bit and give them an update. But right now, I was gonna give them an update on what you thought of the brush guard. I think it looks nice. Huh? I think it looks nice, you just need a plate right here. Yeah, I gotta get a plate. So I was waiting to buy a plate because I didn't know if uh, it would cover it up or not because I actually didn't unwrap it out of the package until today But uh, you see that thing it matches the steps. Yep. I like it. The only thing I don't like here's here's my dislikes so I, I was telling people about this kind see those bolts down there. Yeah, why could they not make those black? <laughs> the whole the whole setup is black. Why not make the bolts black too? But other than that no complaints. That'd be too easy. That would be too easy. The ranch I hens spray paint yeah, that's probably what I'll end up doing. I need to make a little thing to go around it and then spray paint it. But the old, uh, the whole, the whole ranch hand brand is a heavier gauge metal, so all of the metals heavier gauge than you'll get with a lot of other brands. So that's why we got that one. But anyway, Looks she's good. she's done now. It only took me like 40 days <laughs> from the time I bought the truck to get it on there. But hey, we've been busy, right? That's an understatement. So if you're wondering where Little Bear is. Mazzy and him are playing on the trampoline, and so Cassie's gonna take a opportune moment to go check for what? Turkey eggs. Turkey eggs, so. Uh, I think I saw a turkey setting over there by that doghouse, so that would be the first place I would look if I was a turkey egg hunter. So I already fed the sheep and the lambs. You think Hazel's pregnant? Yeah. I think Hazel is well fed. I don't think she's pregnant. No. She could be, but I don't think so. So, I think it was the other side. Oh, they're always over here. Of the dog house. There's only been one though. Oh man. Somebody, the other one's laying somewhere else. So We're not laying yet. There's one egg. You think that's Tesla or the other one? I think I saw the other one out here. What's her name? Did we name her? I thought it was a T name. I thought we picked a T name because of, we already had Tom and Tesla. Tina. Tina. I think that was it. Oh, she found two more. Duck, no, three duck eggs. Three duck eggs. Oh, that reminds me, I have eggs for um, a teacher at school in the yeah. shop. I gave him a dozen today that I had. Okay. That was at the school from Saturday. Okay, well these are some dirty eggs, but... Alright, let's come out here and look. Now, <clears throat> what do you think the deal is with Muffin? Cassie? Maybe. She's just not nearly growing as quickly, I don't feel like, as the other ones. Yeah? Possibly from smaller stock or something, but I mean, she's growing because she's not as, as small as she was when you carried her that day out of the trailer. Yeah, she is growing, but not nearly. I don't feel like she's growing nearly the rate of the other one, so. Well, she can't because they're not the same age, babe. No, 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 I know, but I don't feel like she's growing as fast as the other ones did in the previously, is what I should say. I don't feel like she's growing a lot, but maybe she'll, maybe she'll get just as big, but I think she'll be small is what I'm getting at. Yeah. I think she's just a, not a dwarf, but like, 
on the small side. So I wanted to walk out here, I'll look for some eggs while I do, but this Premier One fence does not work if you don't keep the uh, grass out of it. So I wanted to come out and check the fence line and make sure that we're doing good on the grass. And so far it looks like we're good. I, I don't think we have anything major growing up in it. But I saw some ducks sitting right over here on this fence line. So that's what I'm going to look at, see if I see anything. Hey Shelby. Uh oh. You guys see what I see out there? It's a tape measure. Shelby, there's a tape measure. Can you get that for me? Oh, you saw a baby cow. I wish your uh, dog knew how to grab a tape measure and bring it to the fence. I don't want to get shocked. Not a bird dog. She's, she's only a little bit of golden retriever. She just looks like a bird dog. Well, the grass uh, sheep have plenty of grass out here. <coughs> so somebody asked if Blackberry ever had her calf the other day. Well, she did. His name is Rusty. Apparently, I don't talk about him enough, but he is doing awesome. He had his feet kind of oh backwards or twisted up when he was born and now they're all straightened up and then Bell is right here and she's doing good too who do you like better Bell or Rusty? Bell. Bell's my favorite oh look I saw him chasing the dogs the other day I think the sequoia was the main one chasing, but all three calves were chasing the dogs. They have those uh, natural instincts to get the dogs out of their pasture. All right, Cassie, I think you're, that's it. You ended up with what, three and one? Yep, I need to check under the hay, but they have a bit. Tina, that's her name. I'm, I'm, I, it's all coming back to me now. Tom, Tina, and Tesla. Some handsome, handsome bird there, Tom Henry. Tina thinks I'm going to feed her. Cassie turned her into an egg eater. Well, I dropped Way to it go. that busted, so I threw it over there. Was it a turkey or a duck? Duck egg. No. Oh. At least it'll go to go to use. Somebody will eat it. So a lot of times people wonder, what do we do with our eggs? You guys know a lot of them go to our food pantry. Um, but we do get some really dirty ones. And these really dirty ones, they could be washed and used. They're fine. Um, but what we actually do with these is we just take them and give them to... Um, a teacher at Cassie's school and he has um, said multiple times he don't care if they're clean or dirty he's just happy to get some and we give them to him um, he can clean them up and then um, use them and we don't have to um, worry about taking them in washing them separating them keeping them in the refrigerator because right now even though they were dirty they still have a protective coating on them and that protective coating is going to keep them uh, safe without washing them so they're safe that's what we're doing with those and then I was going to take you guys out here real quick and give you a quick update on the garden also while I was working on um, the uh, brush guard today I had a special visitor my dad came by and gifted me something I'll show you what he gave me but we got more rain last night uh, what in the world is that you guys think that's a cat or a dog I don't know, leave it down in the comments. Uh, the lettuce is really starting to grow some. And then the uh, radishes are really going. And we're getting a little bit of mustard coming up. So a little bit of everything's coming up. And the other onions are doing awesome too. So we had to get uh, Little Bear off of the trampoline. He wasn't that happy, but we did get something that made me happy. That is a load of mushroom compost. 
So my dad got a pickup load of this and he came by and dropped off uh, this gorilla cart full. So I'll be using that for my tomatoes. I'll put that around in my tomatoes. It's a great, um, great compost. Let me show you guys. And it'll keep everything nice and moist, give extra nutrients. So I'm excited about that. So I almost forgot about the tire. So I'm out here in the shop and I don't see anything yet. So we're going to, uh, we're going to push on the truck a little bit. Luckily you have this grill guard right here. You have to push on. Okay, let's see. Was... Um, I don't see it yet. Oh, I think it's right there. That's it. All right, so I've got my pliers and screwdriver. Oh man, so it looks like it could be pretty deep down in there, but we will find out. So what is that? Looks like just a piece of uh, metal that I picked up along the road. Hopefully, I don't have a flat tire in the morning, but I don't need this truck tomorrow. So if I do have a flat tire, I uh, have an idea of where the hole's at and uh, I'll go get it patched. But right now, let me spray something on it, see if I have any air. So I'm spraying a little bit of a cleaner on there. If it was going to show that it was flat, you'd probably be getting some bubbles right now. Or if it's going to be showing a hole. I don't see any bubbles coming up just yet. So, like I said, we'll give it till tomorrow. And uh, I'll know whether it's going to be getting low. I'll check the air pressure. But a big thanks to Cassie. She could have just saved me from a headache by being on this roadside, um, having to change a flat. Or even worse, it could could have been worse. So, also, hopefully this will save me some headache one day. Or hopefully it doesn't. I don't know. Either way, uh, I think it's a good uh, insurance to have, just in case. Because we keep our insurance deductibles high. Because we do not plan on making a claim on this vehicle unless we basically total it. So, it does have uh, full coverage. But we try to keep a pretty high deductible. And hopefully that will help us not have to uh, do a claim. So we are loaded up, Ransom. Where are we headed? To my baseball game. Baseball game. Where's Coach Walker? Uh, Coach Walker. Uh, Did she give you the best coaching uh, advice? So we got to get off here and get to a baseball game. So if you guys have any prayer requests as normal, just leave those down in the comments and everybody will be able to look over those. But thank you for following along. We hope you have a great day and God bless. Love you guys.